Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, we are going to discuss about the six mistakes one should avoid doing in piping design. So basically, we are going to cover the blunders one should avoid in piping design. So without wasting your time, let's get into the video. One of the first mistake that we have to avoid is do not turn the pipe horizontally in pipe ways. So what is known as pipe ways? Pipe ways are known to be the space allotted for piping to travel. Maybe the space allotted for the bunch of lines to travel. Basically, these are spaces for pipe racks or the sleepers where you will find a lot of lines travel in one particular area. So what happens if you turn the line horizontally? You will cover the whole area. You will occupy the whole area. You will not be able to allow the, the nearby lines to travel in a straight direction. So basically, you will obstruct the routing of the nearby line. That is one of the reasons why one should avoid routing the line horizontally in pipe ways. But at some cases, it is acceptable in sleeper kind of routing. That is because provided these sleepers are outside the plot. Basically, we differentiate on plot and off plot. So in most cases, in off plot area, the entire bunch of line takes a horizontal turn. So only when the entire bunch of lines turns horizontally, you can follow this principle. Otherwise, you should avoid turning the line horizontally because you will not allow the nearby lines to travel in a straight direction. You are going to occupy the entire space. So please do not route your line horizontally in pipe ways. And second mistake is do not route piping above cable trays. If you look at the pipe rack design, you can observe this. Cable trays are always placed above the piping, above all pipings. That is because any spillage from the piping, if it goes to the cable tray, it can cause some circuit termination. It can trip the whole plant. It can shut down the whole plant. That is one of the reasons why pipings are always kept below the cable trays. So that is what we have to understand. We should avoid these kinds of hazard and piping design. But at unavoidable situations, uh, it may be due to the nature of the site or nature of the plant or because of the nature of the condition. So you may not be able to uh, sort out those uh, situations. So in that only in that situation, if you had to route your piping above the cable trays, what you have to do is that you should only route perpendicularly because you will only have a small interference. You should not route parallel to the cable trays. And second important thing what you have to observe is that you should not keep the flange joints above the cable tray because because flange joints are more vulnerable for leaks right so you should not place flanges above the cable tray that is because of the safety factor so these are the conditions you have to consider when you are routing a pipe near to a cable tray or above the cable tray or below the cable tray essentially your piping should always remain below the cable tray so this mistake you should never do it let's go to the third point the third point is do not occupy the direct space right in front of any equipment because these are the space that are used for construction, installation, demolition and to do any kind of maintenance activities for that particular equipment. There will be a lot and lot of requirements in process plan. So the space right in front of equipments are much more essential than any other space because in order to drop down some materials or in order to do any maintenance activities in the equipment, the crane has to come and the crane has to be placed. So these are the space that are reserved for the construction, installation, demolition and for the placement of the cranes. So at no case, we should occupy this space. If we are going to occupy this space, it will cause lots of disturbance in the maintenance of the plan. So please consider this. Do not occupy any direct access space right in front of the equipment because these are essential space that are required for maintenance and constructions and other activities related to equipment. Let's go to the next mistake. The next mistake is do not route piping above any equipment. Basically, if you are going to route a piping about any equipment, you are blocking the maintenance access. So how do the maintenance activities will be carried? It will not be carried, right? Imagine that if you are going to route a line above pump and if the pump has to be removed during maintenance, so the crane will not have a direct access for this removal. So essentially what is happening is that you are blocking the maintenance access. So that is one of the reasons why you should not, you should never ever route a line above any equipment. And in unavoidable situations, once again, it happens in all the power process and piping design actually, there will be a situation where you cannot manage. Only in that situation, you have to provide a brake spool. So that is what you have to remember actually. So essentially you should avoid routing above any equipment. 
and if you had to route you should provide a brake spool that is because to ease the maintenance access let's go to the next mistake the next mistake is do not place valve or instruments above 1.8 meter from the grade level essentially 1.8 meter from the grade level means 1800 mm that is because above 1800 mm it is very difficult to access these valves and instruments because the average height of the person considered in process design is generally 5.4 to 5.6 actually so generally in, in most companies uh, these are 5.2 i mean 5 feet and 2 inches or 5 feet and 4 inches or 5 feet and 6 inches so essentially what we have to maintain is that 1800 mm is your margin you should not place any valves or instruments or anything because you cannot access this is the margin that is set by most uh, company standards and most international standards because this is one of the primary uh, factor in the human factor engineering so if you are going to place any valves or instrument above 1800 mm definitely it will be a point during the review design and they will capture uh, these points and you will receive a comment so it is better to avoid right so please place your valves and instrument below 1800 mm because above 1800 mm you cannot access so do not make this blunder in your piping design because these are because these may sound to be a simple thing but during the design phase what happens is that we may miss out actually that is one of the reason why these things has to be captured very importantly so far we have seen five mistakes now let's go to the sixth mistake the sixth mistake is do not place your pipe support over underground services so what are underground services there are pipings there are cable trays cable trays such as instrument cable trays and electrical cable trays so one should avoid placing the supports over these services so how to avoid it generally what happens is that when you are working in a 3d model or when you are working in a piping layout we will uh, forget to attach the other discipline drawings we will forget to uh, remember the to check the other discipline drawings such as uh, instrumentation cable trays and electrical cable trays or underground references actually so only when you refer these drawings or only when you attach these drawings in your design you will be able to find a clash so essentially if you are placing any support you have to check the interference clash between the underground services and your support location So what happens when you are not checking the interference clashes with your supports and underground services and the drawing goes to the construction during construction when they try to excavate it and they will surprisingly they will get to see the cable trays or other utilities which is right below your support location then it will be really hard to change your design so essentially when you are placing any support you have to check the underground clashes and move your supports accordingly so that it will be easy for you to make your design changes at the end of the design and during the construction phase it will be really really hard to make any kind of a changes so please do this checks actually and don't ever make these six mistakes so i hope that this video has helped you to understand six blunders that you have to avoid six mistakes that you have to avoid in piping design i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra